It's April 2021 and this next week I'm going to release a little coloring and activity book that I've been working on for the Seashell Museum. And I thought I would just quickly do a little pre-release video about why I decided to do it and how it came about. So in November of 2017, we were in Jerome, Arizona and we were at the Jerome Historical Society uh, Mine Museum gift shop. And there I found this book. It's called Everybody Needs a Rock. And it's just a simple little story about why you need to have a special rock. And the author gives 10 rules of how to find your special rock and then why you should keep it forever. It's really cute. And it inspired me to do a book about seashells. In 2018, I wrote a story about how to find your special seashell. And sometime during 2018, I read it to my grandkids and it was just a story, no pictures, and they seemed to stay interested in the story throughout. And so that kind of made me think maybe this is a good little story about seashells. But sometimes things just get kind of put on the back shelf and you forget about them for a while. So that happened. I knew I had this little story, but what I really wanted to do was find an illustrator. I, for some reason, had my heart set on it being a coloring book and not just a book with photographs or pictures or something like that. And so, um, late in 2020, I started kind of actively looking for ways to find a coloring book illustrator to um, put together some pictures for my book. In researching online, I found this drawing. So the first message that I received from her said, Hi Nami, thanks for getting in touch. I'll be glad to help you with your book. Please send me a description of the first page that you would like and I'll send you a sample and let me know how you like it. Thanks. I wrote back. That'd be great. Here's the wording for one of the pages. You may be building a sandcastle when you spot your special seashell. And then I described what I wanted. I want the book to be for all kids and the story is not about one particular child. So the picture could be perhaps two kids, a boy and a girl maybe, building a sandcastle with some seashells around them. This is a picture she sent me back. It's virtually perfect. I loved it. So we made some more agreements. We contracted actually for the book. And now what I would like to do is just show you kind of the evolution of one of the other pages of the book. So the wording for this page says, whenever you go to the beach, you'll see a lot of seashells. There must be at least a billion. I don't think anyone has ever tried to count them all. Most people I know would get bored before they finish counting the shells on just one small beach. And then my description said, a little boy on a sandy beach with shells are all around him and his head in his hands. Here is the first version of the picture that I received. So it's really cute and I like it a lot, but I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more where it looks like he's counting seashells. So I sent her a quick message. I was just thinking, maybe a small notebook on the sand with marks like he was adding, you know what I mean? And then I added, no stress, don't mess with it too much, thank you. So here is the finished uh, picture that she drew with the repairs, as she called it, for what I wanted. And then also I show it here framed and with the words at the bottom. And if you'll notice, we actually, I, I, if you notice, I also changed the wording because I thought he looks a little bit more like he has a headache than that he's bored. So now the words say, most people I know would get a headache before they finish counting all the shells on just one small beach. Stop. The next thing that I thought of was that the cover of my coloring book should actually be in color. And so I was thinking, who better to color my book than my mom? She has always loved coloring. When we were kids, whenever we were coloring, we had one page in the coloring book and she had the other page. And she's really good. And she's always just enjoyed it. So I said, hey mom, 
how about coloring a few pages for me for my coloring book? So here's the same page in full color by my mom. I love this. It's so cute. She does such a great job. Look at those little seagulls and look at all the seashells. It's so perfect. So now I was really excited. So I laid out my book after receiving all of the pages and here's the back cover. This is just, what do they call this? The mock-up? Let's call it that, okay? It says, a special seashell Sunday. At the beach, there are so many shells. With so many choices, how can you decide on just one special seashell to take home as a souvenir? Read along and find out how to choose one special shell while respecting nature as you search. A coloring and learning book with activity pages for explorers and beachcombers of all ages. And then here we go, it says, inspired on the seashores of Sonora, Mexico, where the desert meets the sea. And then of course, produced and distributed by the Seashell Museum. And notice the picture of the boys. Now this is just kind of a mock-up, but those are the grandsons. And that's Rocky Point right there. Now she's never seen Rocky Point and she added a few extra buildings, but you know it's Rocky Point, don't you? So I'm happy to announce that I received the first printed copy, locally printed here in Pinasco, of a special seashell Sunday. And yes, it's a tongue twister, like other seashell poems you may recall. <laughs> Stop laughing. And this week I will have a very, very limited edition printing of this book. So if you're interested in getting a copy, one of the very first, Check it out here where we're doing the video. There's going to be information of how you can get your own copy. And I hope you like it. I love it. I'm so excited. You can't tell I'm excited, but I'm excited. This is super cool. And I'm really excited. And I'd show you the inside, but oh. Yeah, there's a picture of me too. And I look really super cute and young. <laughs> Stop shaking the camera. So anyway, I hope you guys will get a copy for yourself, for your kids, for your grandkids. 